If your Stober solid shaft reducer is supplied with an output flange, the flange side of the reducer will bolt to the equipment flange. Before mounting your Stober flanged reducer, you will have to check the flange and machine mounting interface to ensure that they have compatible dimensions for proper installation. The first dimension to check is the protruding boss or dimension B1 of the flange. This portion of the flange will be utilized for centering the gearbox on the conveyor to ensure concentricity. The tolerance of the protruding boss, dimension B1, is shown in Table 1. The machined bore and the machine mounting surface should fit this boss accordingly. The bolt circle diameter, dimension E1, and mounting hole configurations are shown in Table 1. Check the bolt circle diameter and mounting hole configuration to ensure proper alignment with the machine mounting surface. If all dimensions are acceptable for interface with the Stober flange, you are ready to install the gearbox into the desired location. Before installation, brush the inside of the machine bore with rust inhibiting grease. Do not mount the reducer dry as removal may be impossible. Align the reducer's flange side with the machine mounting surface. Slide the reducer into place, ensuring the protruding boss of the Stober flange is lined up with the bore in the machine surface. The protruding boss should extend into the bore of the mounting surface until the flat face of the flange is flush. If the boss of the flange does not easily slide into the pilot bore of the machine surface, do not force the flange into place. This could result in premature failure of the gearbox bearings due to misalignment. Ensure that the reducer mounting holes are properly aligned with the mounting surface. If the mounting surface has a through hole, you will need to place a nut and washer of the correct size onto the back side of the mounting bolt. Then tighten to the correct torque specification based on the bolt grade and size. If the mounting surface has tapped holes, you should then tighten the mounting bolts to the correct torque specification based on the bolt grade and size. Once all bolts have been tightened to the correct torque specification, the Stober reducer is ready for operation. To dismantle the unit from the shaft, remove the bolts from the Stober flange. After all flange bolts have been removed, the reducer will be ready to slide out of the bore of the mounting surface. Removal of the reducer will be easier if the bore is greased before installation.